Hi. Tonight I wanted to talk about music. I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of bands. Uh, first of all, let me say I grew up in the 70s, the 1970s, back when radio was different, music was different, um, where we got our music was um, or where we found out about music was radio stations now I lived in a little town that its radio station was pretty much pop pop music you know like uh, American Top 40 that kind of thing and but I had a friend whose mom was one of the cool moms and she loved good music so when I was in somewhere in middle school, maybe uh, in the late seventies, early eighties, uh, I discovered a band called The Doors. Now, if you've never heard of The Doors, it's a four-piece group from Los Angeles. Jim Morrison was the lead singer. Robbie Krieger, the guitar player. John Dinsmore was drums, and Ray Manzarek was the keyboard player. Interesting thing about this band, they did not have a bass player. But we can talk about that some other time, maybe. Because um, this isn't really about The Doors. So the thing about this is that I loved The Doors. I thought it was the most awesome music I'd ever heard. I had grown up on uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival um, and a lot, a ton of 50s and early 60s uh, rock and roll. Um so I listened to the doors and it was like so I bought all their albums I have in my vinyl collection every album and I bought them all back in the early 80s late 70s early 80s and listened to them all the time once I was kind of I had kind of exhausted all the possibilities with the doors um, I read an article in a magazine or something I talked about Ray Manzarek um, because I knew, of course, the whole story of Jim Morrison died uh, when uh, died of a heart attack in Paris, probably drug related or alcohol related. Um, and that the band just kind of disappeared after that. But Ray Manzarek was a producer and he was the producer of another Los Angeles quartet called X. Now, X, their first album, Los Angeles, was a steady part of my life once I discovered the fact that Ray Manzarek had something to do with the band. I'm like, I have to, I have to uh, get this band. So I bought the cassette tape of Los Angeles and I played it over and over and over and over again. On it, you can hear keyboards, and I looked in the liner notes, such as they were on the cassette, and uh, Ray Manzarek is credited uh, with playing keyboards as well. So it was kind of like I had one fourth of the Doors in this band that sounded nothing like the Doors. Okay, why am I talking about this this morning or uh, this evening, <laughs> whatever time it is? Well, I'm talking about this because every single morning. Well, let me just move on with X first. Uh, I I bought Wild Gift. Um, I bought a couple of other other albums, and then I kind of just moved on from X. There's a lot of music in the '80s, and uh, uh, I kind of kept up with X a little bit, and then kind of went on to other things. I still love them. I still love Los Angeles. Uh, I think it's uh, I, there's just something in it that really really speaks to me so every morning ev almost every morning for a long time now I can't say how long but a long time now uh, there's an X song that just gets stuck in my head uh, and this X song uh, is stuck in my head because 
I grind my own coffee beans. I grind my own coffee beans. And these uh, coffee beans, I put them in the grinder. And my grinder is one of those brawn, classic brawn grinder where you just push the button on top. And my coffee beans are usually very dark roast and they stick together and they don't tend to grind very well. So what I have to do, what I've kind of throughout the years discovered is the best way to do it is to pulse the grinder. But I pulse it for a long beat and then short beats. And so the grinding kind of goes like every morning that's my grinding every morning I do that for about five to seven seconds and then my beans are all ground um, yep and that is um, why the X song is stuck in my head If you're an X fan, you know what song gets stuck in my head. It's unheard music, the unheard music. And it, uh, it's funny because a lot of X's uh, songs, I never like, I honestly, I, I didn't memorize the lyrics. I kind of just mumbled along, sang the chorus, um, Los Angeles, you know, I could sing. And, uh, and this one, uh, the unheard music, I never really listened to the lyrics before. Uh, it's kind of an interesting story, and I, I'd love to find the story. Maybe I'll add another video um, when I find out what the story is to Unheard Music. Uh, but it's it's not that it's it's the 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 music that gets me. It's just that, and I'll, I'll uh, maybe I'll put the video on my YouTube channel, and you guys can listen to it, or you can just find it yourself. Um, interesting the last thing I want to say about the song uh, is that there's a lyric in it that goes uh, you know, all my, my whole I, I, since I've been listening to the song uh, it's gone in my head it's some or so smooth chord on the car radio and all I really knew was car radio right and then and I always, always thought it was no hardcore on the car radio, thinking it was like hardcore punk or hardcore, just, you know, whatever hardcore. There was no hardcore on the, on the radio, on the car radio. It turns out it's hard chords. And I'm assuming that means like, you know, distorted chords or like rock chords. So... And maybe the whole point of the song is that kids are rebelling against their parents, and uh, and the songs, you know, it's talking about uh, them actually killing all their parents. <laughs> uh, and maybe it's because they're not getting what they need on the radio. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, it's a interesting thing. What really gets me though, the reason I made this video as my very first video on my iSocket Music channel is because in the morning, every morning, the song, the unheard music gets stuck in my head because of my coffee grinder. And I just wanted to share that with you.